is an ROE graphics and apparel install video. Today we will be installing one of our uh, medium sized decals for the Ford F250 on this one in particular, but we have them for all makes and models. And uh, we'll be going over preparation and install in this video. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to prep the area, we need to clean it. What we have here is a bottle of water and like a drop or two of Dawn. You don't want too much, but you need to make sure that you remove all of the wax that you have built up on your vehicle because the decal will not stick to the vehicle if there is wax on it. Uh, a lot of complaints we get is the uh, vinyl isn't sticking because you have too much wax on your car. So, well, first of all, we just spray on a healthy dose of this solution of just soap and water, Dawn, to cut the wax and then scrub it off really good. Alright, that's pretty clean. Get it pretty dry so that you can use your masking tape to level out and place your decal. Let me throw that back there. Next, take either some blue painter's tape or some masking tape. The thicker, the more area you'll have in order for it to stick. Peel off a piece. Grab your decal. Place it right in about in the center, just like this. And then we're going to line it up. And you're going to want to step away, step behind the camera to look at this from a distance to make sure that it's level. You can use a level. I usually just do it by eye. A little low here. We'll take a second piece. Up that corner. So there we have it. Now this particular method, this decal is pretty thin, won't get a lot of bubbles in it, but I'm going to show you a beginner's way to make sure that you get it on without any bubbles or messing it up, wrinkling it or anything like that by doing a hinge method wet install. You don't necessarily need to do this with all of our decals depending on your skill level, but for our purposes we're showing you like how to do this at the absolute most beginner level and make sure your decals come out perfectly. So let me just grab a pair of scissors and I'll be right back. So before we start, I forgot to mention that we don't want any dust or anything, so it's good to get a microfiber cloth, make sure it's dust free and clean, and then just dust off the area where you're going to want to put the decal, because you will see the imperfections through the decal if there is dirt or anything. Realign this. Yeah, that's good. And now we will start our hinge method install. So first thing we'll do, we'll take our hard card, which is in my back pocket. So if you don't have one of these, a uh, thicker credit card will work. Um, like maybe your license or something, depending on how they're made in your state. But or a credit card in essence, but. The more firm, the better. Pick these hard cards up pretty cheap. Um, they're worth it. And uh, we're going to flatten out the decal back onto the application tape because during transit, humidity, rain, heat, cold may make the application tape and the decal separate a little bit. So in order to make sure that it stays on there, we're going to repress it down. Especially with these very fine, thin cuts. Done. We're going to peel this away. Now, if you get this separation that's happening here where it's not coming back with the application tape, all you have to do is just push, pinch, and pull it back, and it will come right off. Just like that. 
Go slowly so you don't tear the decal by accident. Like I said, a lot can happen over time and in transit, and the decal can start to not stick properly. Matte black is another very thin vinyl that has some trouble sticking sometimes. So you just be careful with it. Pinch and pull, pinch and pull. doesn't matter that it's getting slightly wrinkled, those wrinkles will go away. Most of the wrinkles happen in the backing anyway. Okay, we're at about a halfway point. So I usually just stick it back on the application tape there. Grab a pair of scissors, cut off the excess. So in order to avoid bubbles and get it to go on without any problems, just use a little bit of the soap and water mixture and just spray the area where you're going to put the decal. You can even get some on the decal, that's fine. Take your hard card, like this, create a little bit of tension, just a little bit, don't pull off your decal or your tape, and then place it down right about there, and then with pressure, you want hard pressure come across your decal and push the water and everything out. So we want to go from our center point, push up and out, up and out, using a good amount of pressure. See all the water dripping out? Careful not to come off the application tape and possibly scratch your car. Take your time with it. And then that side's done. Now the second side is just even easier because that's really locked in. But we will have to be careful with the uh, decal coming off the backing, or the application tape, not the backing. So remember to go slow so you don't tear the decal if it does stick. Usually this flat back motion works best when separating the backing from the application tape. See, that went much better than before. Same thing, spray the area a little bit, not too much. A little bit on the decal. pressure, pulling it, and pushing hard and coming across. And center out. Here we go. Depending on your temperature outside, today here in Florida it's about 75 degrees and not very sunny, but this will be fine usually around 65 and under, your adhesion won't heat up enough or be hot enough to stick very well, so you'd like to you'd use a heat gun or even a hair dryer, you basically want to get something that's up to about 200 degrees or so, and you would heat it up to activate the glue. A little bit later the sun's going to come out and that will continue to bake the decal and activate the adhesion and you want that heat is good for decals so you would let this sit for a while just I don't know 15 minutes or so work out the water the bubbles whatever and then another little trick to make the uh, application tape come off a lot easier is you want to wet down the application tape so don't be afraid to get it nice and Lots of water on it. Actually, I just work the water in with our card. You can see it's starting to wrinkle up. And it's basically 
going to allow you to pull away the backing without pulling off the sticker a lot easier. It'll create less because we use a very high tack um, application tape. So you can see it's just falling off now. So the same thing, you want to go back and close onto itself and come back slowly just in case something didn't stick. If you pull up and pull too fast, you might rip the decal. So you just want to come back, see? That wasn't done. It's not dry enough, it's starting to come off. If I would have went fast, it would have ripped it up. So all we got to do is just put it back on. Get all the water out. That's why that came off. we go slow. You take your microfiber and just pat it. Do not slide across it because you might lift the corner that's not completely dry at this point. You just want to pat it back on, squeeze out any water. Then, that's all there is to it. There's no bubbles in this at all. If there were a couple of bubbles, that's fine. Over time, between the hot and the cold, the expansion will evaporate the bubbles and they will go away. It could take anywhere from a day <coughs> to three months. It just depends on how big and bad the bubbles were when you applied it, but it's not the end of the world. Um, just let it set. Do not wash your vehicle for at least 48 hours. Uh, and then with any vinyl, once you put vinyl on your car, you can forget about car washes. You run the risk of the machines and the brushes ripping them right off. So try to avoid that. And whenever you're washing a decal, especially one with such intricate little corners and things, you want to lightly wash it with just open water. And you want to <coughs> pull away from the edges when you clean, like this. You want to wash away from the edges because you do not want to lift these tiny little corners. Now after a year or so, they'll be on there pretty good. It'll take a lot to get them off. But other than that, that is the easiest way, the most way to guarantee, the best way to guarantee that your decal will go on bubble free and stick for many, many years to come. <laughs>